guys, my name is Christy Bells and welcome to my YouTube channel. Yes, I am back. I am so sorry I've been off for a month, but I am back and I come to show you how to slay your edges, baby. Okay, this is how to slay and get a flawless frontal look. I'm talking installation, I'm talking everything you need. It will be in this video, okay? And then remember guys, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Click the link down below to subscribe to my channel. Also, you can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, using the name Chrissy Bells and Chrissy Bells One for Snapchat. So this tutorial is all about how to achieve this seamless, 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 seamless frontal look. Don't be stingy with my videos. Share it, please. Okay? Thank you guys so much, and let's begin. If you'd like to see how I achieve this. let's begin okay guys so let's begin okay the first thing we're going to do is to make sure that you have a minimum 13 by 6 frontal this is very crucial and important like because without it you won't be able to get that flat flat look okay now once it's 13 by 6 we are ready to go okay now the next thing we're going to do is to bleach the frontal. When it comes to bleaching the frontal, I have a tutorial step by step on how to bleach the frontal on here on YouTube and also an e-learning an e on how to bleach a frontal just in case you wanted to learn a bit more. Now, I'm going to bleach the frontal so that the knots can go blonde or brown but not black anymore. After 35 minutes, the frontal is bleached right now as you can see it looks orange we do not want orange we want it to look you know the brassiness to come out of it so we're gonna go into toning the frontal when it comes to toning i've mixed the osmo shampoo with water okay so now run that um shampoo all over the hair and leave it for a good 10 15 minutes once it's been 10 15 minutes all you have to do is wash it off and then you can start plucking Again, I have a tutorial on how to pluck on here and also on how to pluck on my e-learning. Right now, I'm just showing you um, after I've hot combed it. Again, I have a tutorial on here on how to use the hot comb to get this amazing look. Okay, now let's move on. Once you've done this, we're going to go into straightening of the wig. Okay, now we're going to use the L'Oreal oil. We're going to use the Tresemme heat protector, which is really, really important. Some clips, some tail comb, and my I love, love, love the straighteners, okay? So now, let's begin straightening the hair. Okay, now, please do not forget to use a heat protector while you're straightening the hair. Again, I have a detailed tutorial on how to straighten your hair on here on YouTube. I'm just going to show you all the processes that I did quickly, but all the videos, the detailed videos are all here. I promise okay on YouTube or e-learning okay now again how I've got the flatness using the hot comb and parting is all on here but I'm just gonna run through it quickly okay now this is what it should look like after you've used the hot comb okay I've got a new tutorial coming out on the best way to get a baby hairs and some of the tips and tricks that that's coming up soon so this is what you want it to look like before you start putting it on your head okay once you've got this amazing look now we can go into cutting of the baby hairs okay i'm gonna quickly cut it if we do not speed up these processes guys this video would take almost an hour so we have to you know i hate long videos on youtube now let's get to the installation time guys how does that look on my head by the way i am wearing a cap okay so 110 percent i'm wearing a cap the cap i'm wearing is, is called skin i'm gonna link their details down below but yes i'm wearing a cap and guys now you've seen me cut lace and install my wig so many times but i'm gonna do it one more time okay so now i'm just gonna cut the lace okay how flawless does this frontal look please guys <sighs> i love it i love when the frontal is clean and obviously i'm using a crystal hd frontal of course that's what we're using out here okay so now as you can see this looks clean this looks good you know and we're nearly there okay once this is done i'm gonna cut the other side as well just to make sure it looks good 
now that is done it is ready for us to start gluing now look at the hair with no glue guys i can actually rock this hair with no glue you know i might have to get some mousse around my ears like i'm showing you right now but nah this looks so good okay now let's start using the glue guys remember the wig i'm wearing is a cb hd thin lace okay it's super thin so that's why it melts into my skin really really well and also i've tinted it using caramel frap by the wig guru as well i only use a spray tint because of i toned the hair okay now so the next thing i'm gonna do is to once the, the glue has gone clear the glue i use is from bold hold as well once the glue has gone clear i'm gonna put the wig down and then literally make sure it's stuck on you know the minute it's not where it's supposed to be you could see the line but the minute is where it's, it should it should be you wouldn't be able to see any more line this tutorial was so hard because i had to shoot most of them myself so it, it was really hard but yes i tried but yeah so this is what i'm gonna use the cb edge layer to literally melt that um frontal so after about 10 15 minutes i'm gonna take off the cb edge layer if you do not have one by now i don't know what you're waiting for but you need to get one it's really really important now what like is what marries your lace to your head is the cb edge layer now once that is done i'm gonna try and get some baby hair do the baby hair <laughs> do the baby hairs quickly and again i'm gonna tie it down again using the cb edge slayer this edge slayer is a must have for melting the lace it's a must have now after another 10 to 15 20 minutes i'm gonna just use this time to actually try and get my ponytail ready guys fingers crossed this didn't turn up as as good as i thought it would but um yes i tried literally so yeah so now the first thing i'm gonna do is to literally add so much mousse onto my hair as you can see me doing right now and i'm gonna use some hard hard brush um the wig i'm wearing is like um one and a half bundles with a frontal like nearly two bundles on a frontal so the first thing i'm gonna do is to tie my hair back like that and then i'm gonna get a little piece and then once i get the little piece i'm gonna wrap it around using the what is that called the, the got to be glue spray okay guys remember that i cannot see the back of my head and there was no mirror and as you can see it's off to one side literally but you know you get the gist okay if you're doing it on a client it would be a lot easier but i'm doing it on myself and i wasn't even looking at the mirror but this is what it should look like it doesn't actually look bad guys <sighs> yes it doesn't look bad at all so yes, now after I've done that, I'm just going to release the front of the CB edge layer and voila, it is done, guys. Look at this, please. Look at this, guys. Now, how amazing does this look, please? Like, I really, really love it. Now, we are ready to go. So yes, this is it, guys. It's quick. It's easy. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you guys also understand it as well. Yes. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys next time in my next tutorial. Bye!